morning. Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we welcome your calls on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. Try to call in early. If you have questions about the longevity products or health challenges that you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you have a comment or success story, questions about ingredients, formulation, skin care, we can help you, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. Of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, or if you want to join the Bright Side Ben team and start a longevity business, please call the phone team, the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. 866-735-2470 or head over to my website brightsideben.com or my blog pharmacistben.com or uh, criticalhealthnews.com which we update regularly with news stories as well as blog posts that's pharmacistben.com and brightsideben.com and if you're interested in purchasing any of our truth treatment products truth skin health products including our retinol 5% gel if you're dealing with hyperpigmentation dark spots blemishes or if you just want an all around anti-aging product for wrinkles and fine lines Nothing beats retinol. Nothing, nothing, nothing beats retinol and vitamin C. And that's what you're going to get in our retinol 5% gel. If you're using a skin health product, a skincare product for anti-aging or for dark spots or for acne, and it doesn't feature retinol and it doesn't feature vitamin C, you are truly missing the boat. And I've been in the skincare business now for over 30 years formulating skincare products. And I'm telling you, there isn't an uh, ingredient on planet Earth that can touch, that can come close to retinol and vitamin C when it comes to healthy skin. Why don't you hear about it? Well, because nobody knows how to formulate with retinol. That's why you only get 0.1%. I worked for a company. I was involved with a company for many years, and they were selling products that had trace amounts of retinol in it and telling people it was a retinol product has a speck of retinol. Most retinol products have a speck of retinol. They're not even going to do anything for your skin. And they don't have the, the necessary cofactors, including the vitamin C. And you get preservatives, and you get fragrances, and you get waxes, and you get stuff your skin doesn't need or want, stuff, stuff your skin can't use. Why would anybody pay for wax? Why would you pay for a preservative? Why would you pay for an emulsifier and a surfactant? That has nothing to do with your skin health. It's only in the product to, so somebody can sell you the product. That's so offensive. Anyway, truthtreatmentproducts.com, truth truthtreatmentproducts.com. Check out our retinol 5% gel. All right, we're talking hormones, hormone health. All as, all as it has to do with the skin, hormones are in our control in many ways, in three major ways, how we control the hormones in our body in three major ways. Our thoughts and our feelings, what we eat, and how we breathe. That means to control our hormones, we want to work on foods and the digestive system. And we want to work on emotional and mental strategies also. Every time we think a thought, it gets turned into a hormone. Every time we feel a feeling, it gets turned into a hormone. Every time we breathe or don't breathe correctly, hormones are affected. Every time we eat a food, our hormones are affected. Has your doctor told you this? 
Your doctor doesn't know this. Doctors get information from their drug companies. Drug companies aren't going to tell, tell the doctor to make sure your patients are breathing correctly, make sure they're eating correctly. Now, another very important factor when it comes to hormone health is fats. Fats are so misunderstood. Unless you've been listening to this program, it's hard to get good information about, about the importance of fats, good fats, especially when it comes to hormones, especially when it comes to reproductive hormones and stress hormones and sex hormones, estrogen and progesterone and pregnenolone and testosterone. The hormones that we so readily go to the doctor to get hormone replacement therapy for are really derived in the body from fats, and that means we have to be processing and absorbing our fats. For one thing, we've got to have a healthy liver. We know 100 million Americans have liver disease, fatty liver disease. We have, there's so many people with fatty liver disease that doctors say it's normal. A little fatty liver is normal. It's not normal. It's a sign that the liver is not healthy. The liver becomes unhealthy from the wrong kinds of foods. It's largely a digestive organ. It's a detox organ, too, and it's a hormonal organ. Between foods, toxicity, and that includes prescription drugs. If you guys, here's the stupidity of the drug model, and I'm saying this as a pharmacist who studied drugs. This is the utter stupidity. There's a lot of reasons why it's stupid, but nothing encapsulates the nonsense of using drugs to, to, to treat some kind of chronic health issue. I'm not talking about pain pills. I'm not talking about antibiotics that you need for acute types of issues, but chronic long-term prescription medicine. What organ in the body is going to be detoxifying that? What organ in the body is going to be processing and clearing out your prescription drugs? Your liver. So if we know that 100 million Americans have fatty liver disease, one out of three Americans, what is the logic of putting more burden on the body? to lower cholesterol, to lower blood pressure, to modify some kind of biochemical dysfunction that's the result of a lifestyle issue, which is most of our biochemical breakdowns. The liver has to process all that. The liver's processing sugar. That means, especially fructose, by the way, that means reducing your sugar intake is a key, key element to hormonal health via this liver connection, especially fructose. And I'm not talking about a speck of fructose here and there. I'm talking about drinking lots of fruit juice or eating lots of fruits. We have this idea, this cultural idea that fruits are wonderful and delicious and wholesome foods. And they're not. Not that they don't have benefits. Yes, I'm aware that there's wonderful benefits in fruits, especially the peels. But fruits today are not the same way. Fruits that we eat today are not the same fruits that we ate as we were evolving as our bodies were developing over the, courses, over the course of millennia. Over the last couple hundred years, we bred fruits to be super duper mega sweet. Apples are, apples, you know, were little crab apples for millennia. They weren't these big, fat, fructose-filled pieces of produce. Watermelon, honeydew, bananas. We get this idea, this notion in our heads that we can eat all the fruit we want. Now, clearly there are benefits to fruits, okay? I'm not saying that they're poison foods, but the sugar content of fruits can be overwhelming to the liver. If you are indulging in any sweets, really, but if you're, you know, you love your fruit and you love your uh, fruit juice, Make sure you're drinking lots of water. This is a great strategy for all diabetics and a simple strategy for all diabetics after you indulge. And that doesn't mean just fruit, also desserts and cakes and breads and anything that spikes your blood sugar. Drink lots of water. It's so simple. First thing in the morning, if you're a diabetic or even if you're not, drink lots of water. Why? Water dilutes your blood. Water fills up blood volume. That means it's diluting your blood sugar. By definition, it will dilute your blood sugar. Just water. I cannot believe how many commercials I'm seeing on television for drugs for diabetes. Listen, diabetes is not a drug issue. I am sorry to people who sell drugs, including pharmacists, who are pushing, uh, and pharmaco uh, drug companies, who are pushing these kinds of things for people who have diabetes. Diabetes is an eating issue, and there are many wonderful eating strategies and drinking strategies that you can use to reduce, to dilute your blood sugar and improve your hormone health and improve liver health as well. All right, a couple more things to say here about, uh, about liver and about sugar and about fats. We'll do that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening. Okay, 
Welcome back to The Bright Side. I'm pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time and 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com. You can find all the longevity products up at brightsideben.com as well as on my blogs, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website or by calling the phone team at 866-735-2470. If you're interested in purchasing any of our Truth Treatment products or Truth Skin Health products, go to truthtreatments.com. Okay, got a line open for you at 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls here in just a moment. I want to just say a few more things. We're going to we're going to talk about hormones for a while now, so uh, I'm just going to say a few more things here about fats when it comes to hormone health, especially for female reproductive hormones, but also for testosterone and prostate health issues, with her, which are hormone health issues, reproductive health issues, endometriosis, fibroids, fibromyalgia, all of these hormone health issues, and certainly accelerated aging of the skin and acne and, and uh, hyperpigmentation, skin issues as well. You want to think about the steroid hormones, which means you want to think about fats. And by the way, you also want to think about cholesterol. Because all of these hormones, the relaxing hormones, the fertility hormones, the youth hormones, the stress management hormones, even, even vitamin D, which is, if you look at the chemistry, you look at the chemical structure of vitamin D, it looks like cholesterol. It's got a couple pieces here and there, a couple accessories stuck onto it. But it's basically a cholesterol molecule, as are all of these hormones. These hormones these, that we're talking about here, we've been talking about now for weeks, these steroid hormones, these fertility hormones, these stress management hormones, these immune boosting hormones, these happy hormones, all of these hormones that, we, uh, that collectively we call the steroid hormones, they're cholesterol. I know people say, oh, they come from cholesterol, cholesterol is the raw material, blah, blah, blah. No, they are cholesterol with a little bit of, just a little tweak. Tell that to the next boneheaded medical professional who tells you to take a drug to stop your body from making cholesterol. I mean, I know I say this all the time, but it's just, it, it's beyond belief to me as a chemist, as a biochemist and a healthcare professional, how people we trust to help us understand our bodies are so ignorant when it comes to understanding basic chemistry. Cholesterol is the single most important molecule in the body, not the least of, for many reasons, and the, not the least of which it's, it's, it is your steroid hormones. Stress and growth and repair hormones are all versions of cholesterol, which means you got to make cholesterol and you don't want to dumb down your body's manufacturing of the stuff. And if anybody tells you that cholesterol causes heart disease, run away. Do not, certainly don't listen to them. Cholesterol does not cause heart disease. And by the way, the more cholesterol you eat, the less you make. So eating your eggs is the best statin drug going, at least in terms of lowering cholesterol. All right, so fat absorption is super duper important. All the fats are super duper important. Not just cholesterol, but all the fats are super important for hormone health. That means use your ultimate EFAs if you want to have, if you're dealing with any kind of hormonal health issues, PMS, reproductive health issues, uterine fibroids, endometriosis. And I can't think of, there's not a lot of things that can happen to a woman more miserable than endometriosis. And it's not a reason to take out your uterus or ablate it. As a friend of mine just had her uterus ablated, destroyed, that means. EFAs, essential fatty acids, your ultimate EFAs. There's a really interesting relationship between the outside part of a cell, which is called the cell membrane, and hormone health. And this is one of the under-recognized aspects of keeping your hormones healthy. That means if you're dealing with prostate health issues, if you're, dealing, if you're a man and you have prostate health issues, if you're a man and you have infertility issues, if you're a woman and you have infertility issues, if you're a woman and you have gallstones, which by the way are another uh, a hormonal health problem in addition to digestive problem, if you have any female reproductive health issues, you want to know about the, you want to be focusing your health or focusing your, your health strategies on the cell membrane. Well, what does that mean exactly? Well, the cell membrane is the outer coating of a cell. And our lack of understanding of the cellular nature of our bodies, how we are composed of cells, really doesn't serve us. Doctors don't work on cells. You know what? We say this on the program all the time. All disease is cell disease, right? Why is it that your doctor doesn't know this? Because the cell is not stupid.